I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose of the exercise is to practice decision making through the Charleston and to focus on the decisions being made and the different paths that can occur based on those decisions. We're going to do this two times and compare results. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise. We're going to do two iterations using the same tiles. I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a joker, a green dragon, almost news with a pair of south. We're just missing an east. We have a five crack and then five, seven, nine in bams, singles. In dots, we have one, three, six with a pair of threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? From these tiles, pick two directions to go and prioritize them based on which direction has the greatest potential. I see two ways this could be played. Winds and dragons, maybe even north and south with fives, or north and south with threes. Either way, we really wouldn't need the green dragon. I think that can go no matter what. The other thing I was thinking is that we could play one, three, five, seven, nine. No gaps with that hand. That's the first odd hand, and it uses a multiple. I think what I would do is play that first. So let's play odds, break up the wins, and then in the next iteration, we'll focus on wins. And then we'll compare results. So let's break up the south, keep odds. Oh, I forgot to take a photo. Take a photo along the way so you can recreate it. We'll take a photo. We picked up sixes. We could maybe switch to three, six, nine. Oh, here's five, multiple. I would break that up. I would stick with one, three, five, seven, nine. Now we're gonna need a pair here and a pair here. Let's break up that six and pass these three. So we'll take a photo. I think I would pass a wind in here. Maybe these three. Let's take a photo. We have one, three, five, seven, nine, no gaps. I think I would pass one of each suit. We'll take a photo. I would not pass a flower. 
let's see, I think these would be all right. We'll take a photo. We got a keeper. One, three, five, seven, nine. I would pass these three. And we'll take a photo. And we got a keeper, a nine. We have tiles we can pass. One, three, five, seven, nine. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Four discards and we have a hand. No gaps. We could use this for the seven. This hand is actually set. All we need is a, a one dot. All we need is a one dot to strengthen this hand. We could Pung, Kong, and Pung. All we need is this help right here. I'd say that was an excellent Charleston. Discard those. So let's reset and focus on wins. Maybe even 369. All right, this is what we started with, and here's the Charleston as it was. We're going to focus on wins or maybe 369. 369 or wins and dragons. Here we have 157 to pass. We could keep that dragon just for a minute and see what happens. So we've got sixes, three, six, nine. We have a gap. We could play that first hand, three, six, six, nine, two fives. We could pass that. I think what I would do is focus on three, six, nine and let the winds go, building around three, six. Now there is an offsuit dragon hand, three, six, but really what we need in here for these tiles would be the red dragon, not the green dragon. And we would not need a six dot. Let's break up the south and pass these three. Okay, there's a six, so three, six, nine, I would keep it. And I would even keep that red dragon because we could do three, six, six, nine dragon. That would be the third hand from the bottom under 369. And then let's pass these three. Three. 369. I think I would probably pass maybe these three. Six. Three, six, three, six, nine, six. Here's a flower, and there's a pear with a south. Three, six, flower. I wouldn't pass a flower. I think what I would do in this case is let this six go. Three, six, six, nine. That would be the first hand. Let's pass these three. Okay, I would break that up, focus on 369. We got a nine, and we have tiles we can pass. Here's 3669. I would keep them all though. We'll pass those three. Three discards. Really, I would say. No gaps for that very first hand. Three, six, six, nine. The shape is Pung Kong, Pung Kong. So we're one away from being set. 
I would probably focus on that very first hand, but I think what I would do is keep all three, six, nine and start by, by discarding that. I think that three, six, nine was a really great way to go with these tiles, but I think that the odd hand had a little better results. Either, I think, could be winners. American Mahjong is a very flexible game. You can make just about anything work with the right decision making at the right time. If you have a set of tiles at home, try Charleston Chain Reaction to test your instincts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.